What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the most broken thing this game has ever seen. Otto Schreier here with his improved firing rate for plasma weapons, which the spear weapon seems to be. But unlike the 35% that the game tells you it would accelerate it, clearly it's more than 100% of accelerated firing speed. So much even that you can just obliterate and delete enemies in milliseconds, or let's say in seconds, okay? And I'm gonna show this here. I didn't know what to expect when I ran this. I thought, okay, let's slap those four spears on the Capri put that Otto Schreier pilot in and see what happens, right? Uh, and I ended up with something that was out of this world, something so broken it needs to be fixed ASAP. Look what I just did to him. Remember, every third shot from these weapons deals 400% damage. And you have every third of these shots now every second because you fire so fast and you just obliterate entire teams. I'm going to spawn rate them repeatedly now and you're going to see I'm going to just nobody has a chance look we have a revenant here and he just jumped on me and uh, look what i'm doing to him i'm just going and staying inside his shield look boom 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 every third shot 400 percent damage and there goes a full tank here comes another tank but i want this guy first hold on come on come on Bop, there we go another fenrir here look at this look how fast a fenrir gets dropped by this this is out of control. We're talking about four light weapons, ladies and gentlemen. This is... What am I doing here? This is, Look, everybody just dies. I look at them and they... Bloop, death. I look at the next guy, bop, death. And, and they send in Fenrirs. They send in Revenants. They send tanky robots. And they just get absolutely ridiculously flattened. The, a deletion. Deletion plus is... is I, not even that word uh, is enough to describe it. Here we have a Capri. I'm meanwhile down to 150,000 health, four guys shooting me, but I still dropped this Capri down to zero health in three seconds or so, and there he goes. That was a full Capri. Wow, next guy, gone, pam, this guy, he was at full health, and if it wasn't for his last stand, he would have been gone a long time ago. Dude, this... I don't know what's going on, man, but um, the, the fire rate acceleration from Otto Schreier here is not 100, it's not 35%. It's probably not even 100%. It may actually be somewhere around 150% or more. Already sent this into Pixonic, they know about it, um, and uh, they're gonna look at it. Uh, but it's pretty obvious that something is going wrong here. I meanwhile am down up to 250,000 HP because I keep getting more and more battleship restorations. But that was two guys killed. That was two guys completely annihilated in a few seconds. This guy, he's only dead. Be he's only still alive because uh, I had lags. Uh, and yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I mean, I've seen many broken things over the years in the game, but... This clearly is not intended. I mean, this. <laughs> some of the things we see in War Robots are intended, and we can say, yeah, all right, it's supposed to be strong, so it's supposed to be ridiculous. But what we're seeing here, I don't think it's supposed to happen. I think this is definitely an accident. <laughs> it's pretty obvious here what, what I can do with this guy, man. It's just, I just look at them and they all die. I'm still here spawn raiding them. It's so ridiculous. Uh, I think they're going to spawn Titans now, too. Oh, I got locked. That is really bad timing for a lockdown. What do we have here? It's, uh, oh, it's an Ares. Ah, oh, the freaking slowing field, man. Um, coming out, act activating my ability, Ares immediately dies. And now I think I have too many enemies shooting me with my remaining 30,000 health. Alright, so, um, guess we killed this dude. Uh, let's go forward. Uh, not this dude. We guess, guess we killed this team, I wanted to say. Here's the new Aether Titan. I'm not sure in which order I release the videos, but there will be a full video about the Aether Titan coming in. You see, I'm now activating my ability because I'm expecting him to try and blackout me, which he also did. So thankfully, I activated my ability beforehand so that I was in my um, in my resistant uh, flight where he can't really deal damage to me. And yo, he you know he given it everything he's had, and I'm full at full full HP, right? <laughs> so um, Aether Titan, pretty powerful. Um, is it gonna be too powerful? We're gonna explore that in the other video again I'm not sure maybe I already released this first it, it depends on how I do things because I never really know when I do this I re record a bunch of videos and then I decide on the go which order I'll release them So there is an other, another another um, uh, Enemy uh, Mugumets. It's the third Mugumets we're seeing now crazy. Why is there so many Mugumets around? All right, now let's shoot into the backside uh, with a uh, glaive and Oh, what's the word? One of them is called Glaive and the other is called... 
hmm, I don't know, uh, these new Titan weapons. And they are basically the same as Spear, but Spear is a light weapon for small robots and it fires faster. Um, but these are bigger, more punch, but um, they are considered uh, uh, Titan weapons, Alpha and Beta weapons. Interesting to point out though is that um, the version of Spear we've used here with uh, the Otto Schreier pilot by far outperforms the firepower of the Alpha and Beta Titan weapons because clearly something is wrong there and it wasn't supposed to be like that. 8 million damage, whereas you need to look at the sec second place guy had 1.9 million damage. My best player and my team had 1.2 million. I did 8. It just shows the difference uh, between this completely broken setup. Alright, so let's hop into the next game. We're here on uh, Dreadnought uh, and this guy he threw the turret at me, and when somebody throws a turret in my face, I'll take it personally, man. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna hunt him down. Let's go and do this, dude. Look at him, he's trying to run for his life, but pop, there comes the hit that does 400% damage, and he goes down instantly. He did a lot of damage to me, though, um, with his stupid turret, but I took him down. Now it's what counts. <laughs> Don't throw a turret at me. Oh, I'm gonna take it personally, man. Don't wanna get hit by turrets. <laughs> Alright, so this guy, I guess he's gonna da going down. Yeah, he would have been... If it wasn't for the lag. I'm reinforcing my Capri buddy right there. I'm keeping him in the game as far as, as long as possible. That behemoth is... Uh, took a lot of damage, but he's still there. Still in the game. Alright, and I think I should deactivate the air conditioner. Just so that you guys don't hear it. Um, yep, this guy's gone. Here's the, uh, the behemoth again. Let's focus him down. Pop, 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 pop. You see every time, every third shot is 400% damage. It's when he loses like 20% in one hit. So, see, you saw it again. Pop, pop, pop. That, that instant 30% that they lose or more. So let's see this Capri. He just took one hit, loses 30% health. Look, again, this is the 400% hit. You know what it hits like? It hits like a freaking truck, man. It hits like a fully charged amplified shock train times four. But that, you do this every second. Because boom, boom, and then it comes to th the triple hit with the 400%. Then boom, boom, and boom, 400%. Boom, 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 400%. Every second. And it, it, it hits, like I said, it hits like a quad shock train. Um, so we're talking about light weapons here. Obviously, this is not normal. Um, in yesterday's video, I already showed you, ladies and gentlemen, and explained to you um, what I don't, about, don't like about, uh, well, you know, new weapons and new things coming to the game generally, but also uh, in regards to the spear weapon, um, how it definitely performs more like a heavy weapon than you would expect a meat light weapon to do. Um, that is a Fenrir tank, by the way, here. And, um, yeah, and this, this here, I didn't know this yesterday. If I had known this yesterday, I would have shown this in the video and would have been like, guys, I don't even know what to say at this point. Uh, but... And I guess it's safe to say that this is a it's an accident. I don't think it's intended that this weapon gets this kind of fire rate with the Otto Schreier pilot. It's it seems so obvious that it <laughs> was not not supposed to happen. But even even as putting this aside, right, the firepower uh, and the performance of the spear weapon itself, even without Otto Schreier, is too powerful. It's too strong for a light weapon. Easily doing 8.5 million damage in one match, and I even realized in yesterday's video I had a drone setup that wasn't even working. I had the on freeze immunity damage amplified chips on my paralysis drone, but I didn't actually use the uh, immunity amplifier, so I didn't have any damage amplification from the drone, right? If I had taken the on damage dealt damage thing that I'm doing right now, then I would have gotten another 70% damage output from, from the drone. And I didn't even have that yesterday, remember? So, man, this is, uh, and we did 8.5 million damage, no problem. In this match, or in this video, you're gonna see much more than 8.5 million, million. In this, in this very match right here, actually. Uh, I lost, uh, one of my light weapons, but look what we're doing to two titans now, okay? Take a short break, two titans in front of us, both of them Minos, both of them had their reflector. So, look at this, bam, 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 bam. I'm the only one shooting this guy, he's gone down. Next guy. Every time we hit with a triple shot, you can see the health going, taking a big dip. Unfortunately for me, he was lucky enough to get that ability recharge just in time. I did not expect that. I thought he's gonna have still five seconds more on the cooldown. Um, and then he had this terrible lag that comes in that ca causes me to lose this fight. You saw this one, one second stutter that killed it for me. But um, 
I almost killed these two titans and I even was missing a weapon and I was down to like, what, 15% health, right? So, uh, yeah, at this point, um, no. Four light weapons, th 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 I would I would almost go as far to say they, they with Otto Schreier, they definitely perform like titan weapons. <laughs> um, without Otto Schreier, they perform like heavy weapons, in my opinion, right? I also had a discussion on Discord about this, uh, where somebody says he makes a different experience with those weapons, uh, but to me there's no question about it, uh, that these things are just performing way over what they should be doing, considering they're just a light weapon, you know. Light weapons are not supposed to be doing this kind of damage, they're supposed to be doing some, some damage, but not this much. And, uh, yeah, I feel like the Titan weapons are mediocre by comparison. I mean, we're using the Nether Titan here, and we're firing these three new la ah, Lance and Glaive. Aha! Got it. Um, we're using these weapons now, and, like, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm not actually doing much damage at all, right? If I feel like if I was firing my four spears from Otto Schreier pilot, I would already have those guys down, right? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, everything else just seems weak now after seeing what the spear did with Otto Schreier. Um, so yeah, clearly this was not intended to, to happen. Uh, we're also, by the way, having a good match here with the uh, with this Titan. I'm going down to capture the beacon back because we're actually losing on beacon progress. And if I'm not getting this beacon here to my left, we're going to lose this match. So I'm gonna have to get this. And that's what I'm doing now. Um, turning most of the beacon around at the same time with my team, which is just amazing. But they still have Titans, and they're going to deploy their Titans any second now. Doing as much damage as I can here to this guy. I think my buddy is going to take care of him now. Yeah, there's the first Titan dropped in. Uh, it's the Luchador. He has his Reflector now. Unfortunately, I was not able to bla uh, blackout him in time. And now I have this Luchador and the Indra Titan coming at me, both with the new energy shotguns that are extremely devastating. Um... But at this point, I'm just waiting for my ability to come back, and it happens now. So now I'm near invincible, and I can fly up, black out these guys. Somehow my Titan is not firing the laser, though. You see this, right? My, my Aether Titan is not firing the built-in laser. This should probably be a bug report for Pixonic as well, because I'm sure that my Titan was supposed to shoot its laser lance that EMPs the enemy right there, but he just didn't do it. He somehow didn't do it. So yeah, we're doing a good amount of damage here with our uh, with our Titan, uh, making sure that this guy because we're still losing the battle. We need those beacons. Capturing this one back also helped capture the other one with uh, by shooting this Indra Titan and now preventing this beacon from being capped um, by the Seraph. So I literally just prevented three enemy caps, or one one I capped back and two I prevented from getting capped. And I think uh, with the performance of my team and myself combined, we were able to turn it around the last second. So, we have one more situation coming up in Canyon. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this content, and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. We just did 10.4 million damage, 11 kills, and 4 beacons capped. And a lot more beacons prevented from being capped by the enemy. So, now we're on Canyon, we're already getting a lot of focus here with this Kepri, but thankfully the Kepri is a robot tanky enough to take it, right? He can take those hits. And, um, yeah, shooting another Kepri there with the Otto Schreier amplified damage output, or increased fire rate rather, right? Uh, Kepri's still there and even has his last stand, so if it wasn't for the purple pop-up shield every time, he would have been long gone. So now he's at last stand. And he's, I think he's coming for me now. He decides to go and attack me, but there's no chance. The firepower of these four spears is just outperforming everything. No explo shotgun has a chance again about this. Look at this guy. Pop. That was a nether robot. Dude, we just really uh, reduced this nether robot to ashes in, what, two and a half seconds or whatever? Look, this guy just spawned in with full HP. Now he comes out of this and he lost 50% immediately. The Seraph also loses part of his defense while you shoot him in the air, so I just keep firing at him. But he keeps getting shields also. And keeps restoring a ridiculous amount of health. I don't know how many times his HP bar came back up. I feel like every shot restored almost the same amount of HP back. But in the end he got killed. And that must have been an insane Meta Seraph, the, uh, the way he kept 
bouncing his HP back l un unbelievably amount. Uh, well, non-stop, basically. Um, oh, I know you, Hunter SK. I've seen you plenty of times, too. I just realized that. Um, yeah, so gotten him down to last stand. Can't finish him off because he's going to make it around the corner. Yep. But we have this uh, SKD guy again here with his, um, what's it called? A Mars robot now. And the fainter weapon. Coming in from the angle here. He's engaging me, I'm engaging him, but once that shield pops, it's when his robot pops. And he was barely able to do much. Now he comes in again with a full angler robot with devastators and uh, scatter. So an incredibly powerful meta brawler setup. And I'm just gonna go in and brawl him like this. Because these weapons, believe it or not, deal more brawling damage output than devastators and scatter do. It just sh goes to show how ridiculous this is. They fire at 500 meters range with perfect accuracy, and they even outperform a dedicated brawling shot weapon like the Devastators and Scatters um, in, um, in a brawl like this. Angler didn't stand the slightest chance. He did not really much damage. I already lost the weapon, but I'm still able to almost kill that entire Nether Titan there. No, sorry, Aether Titan. The Aether Titan. And then I get killed in the end, but... Ooh, it was close. Yeah, so, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, that was this video I wanted to show you. The Otto Schreier pilot is uh, definitely broken co uh, in relation or in, in combination with these weapons. It does say he improves Blight, Hazard, Decay, and Taran and Redeemer uh, as plasma weapons, but clearly he boosts the fire rate of um, Spear by more than 100%. All right, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you in the next video. Money signing off. Bye-bye.